Hi, parents and teachers and administrators. It's Miss Rhonda uh, coming to you, just giving you a little introduction about the new network, the Schooling at Home Network with Miss Rhonda. And this is just a network dedicated to parents and administrators and teachers working through this new normal that we are having. I just want to encourage you to let you know you don't have to give up. This is something that is a part of an evolving, it's an evolution that has taken place. And it's actually, whether you know it or not, it's a good time. The only thing that everyone is dealing with is chaos. And anytime you eventually wanna change a system, the system must first turn to chaos. And then they bring order. So what's happening is in the school systems and everything, nobody knows what's going on. From the teachers, from the administrators, the parents, everybody is all kind of up in the air. But more than anything, my the reason for starting this network is to really help the parents and the, um, the teachers because the ones that are suffering are the students. That's where my empathy is at right now is the students. Every day, they look to us to be um, to be level-headed, to teach them and show them the direction they should go in. But how do administrators and parents show them the direction they should go in if they're in the midst of chaos themselves? So this is going to be a network where we can work together. If you have questions, you can inbox me. And what I would like to do with some questions, I would kind of like to take them and just anonymously make it a question for everybody because you never know what person may have the same question. Um, if you are dealing with anything where you're extremely frustrated, you're becoming angry, or you're becoming mental, you're, you're having dealing with um, something mentally with it, please let us know, inbox me, and we'll try to help you get resources to try to help you. But more than anything, what I'm here to do in this introduction video is to encourage you, to let you know you can do it. I've been there. It's been almost 30 years. I started with a home daycare, and then I had a daycare center, and then I homeschooled, and then um, it was just a whole big thing. Then I had the one-room school setting, and then it turned into a school. Then I ended up accredited with the India State Board of Ed, which took my little happy home and my stress-free kids and it was chaotic. But am I glad that I learned that? Yes, I did. But after I was no longer accredited after those five years with the state, I went back to my stressless home, <laughs> my stress-free home. So I just want to encourage you. Um, there's a few things that I'll deal with you, you know, we'll talk to you about. Remember, everything is evolving. This thing with the transition to online, please understand this is a well thought out plan. It has been in motion for more than two decades. Um, I would say that it was politics. I would say that it was politics if it wasn't happening all over the world, but it's happening all over the world. Everybody from the Congo to Japan, everybody's wearing masks. Most of the kids are online. Kids are going through. The difference is in our country, we have access to internet. Our, some of our kids have access, you know, we have access to indoor water, you know, food and uh, resources. Some of these kids in other countries are doing this without even the basic resources of maybe even a pencil. So let's keep them in our prayers and understand that we're more blessed than a lot of people are. And, um, you know, and then know this, some parents are saying, well, I don't know how to teach my child. Please be encouraged. I didn't do good in school, period. But I was a homeschool uh, a parent. I was actually able to graduate 150 students that went to college and started businesses and did different things like that. So please don't beat yourself up saying that you cannot do it. You can. You just have to understand 
that sometimes you just got to shift a little bit. Um, this is going to be, whether people know it or not, this is going into the new norm. You know, the schools are saying, well, we're going to wait six to eight weeks before we go back. But you think about it, they're taking this six to eight weeks to try to work out the kinks for this six to eight weeks, but they're not preparing for the next six to eight weeks. So this six to eight weeks is going to turn into another six to eight weeks. So just be encouraged to know that it may be a little longer. You know, the resistance is what causes you to be frustrated. Just give yourself a break. Understand that you're doing the best that you can. Like I said, teachers, administrators, superintendents, this is all new to them. You know, you went, some parents, some teachers, uh, administrators, they went to school to get their degrees to learn how to teach in a brick and mortar school. And now all of a sudden they had to shift to go online. I understand your frustrations. I understand the things that you're going through. I've experienced them though. And I can tell you that you can transition and your children will be happy. We want our kids to have a good, good school year and the school years to come. Remember, every single night, ask your students, how are they feeling? Every morning, how are they feeling? Please talk to them. Understand, they may be suffering from PTSD at times because now there it's hard for us to wrap it around our head. So how are they getting it around their head? So just encourage them. Um, in another video, I'm going to introduce what is called the MEPA method of teaching. And um, that's Midwest Elite Preparatory Academy method of teaching and learning. I did this over the years when I ended up becoming accredited. I wasn't able to do it as much because I went from having like 10 years of no um, discipline problems, no suspensions, no bullying, none of that stuff, to changing another system, and it was just chaotic, and I did it overnight. So I did not prepare for it. So I wasn't able to use this approach. But before that, I was able to use it. During that time, I wasn't able to use it. But as soon as I was no longer credited with the state, I was able to go back to use the approach. And the MEPA method is an authoritative way of learning and teaching. So the M stands for motivation. You want to motivate your kids. You want to motivate yourself. You want to motivate your teachers and administrators. You want to understand that some of those teachers, they're doing the best that they can. They can. This is new to them. Some of these teachers are also parents that are leaving one system to go home to try to work with their kids in another system. And so everybody is frustrated. So be understand you can motivate yourself, look in the mirror and tell yourself every day, I made it through the day. I'm doing the best that I can. Do not try to get perfect with this because you're not going to be. This is a new system. It's a new way of evolving. Nobody has the answers. Everybody is just blindly leading themselves through it. So once you get through every single day, at the end of the day, if you've accomplished one thing, at least you can say, I'm okay. Even if you did not accomplish anything, that's okay too. You could just say you'll try a little harder the next day. The E in MEPA is empathy and encouragement. You empathize with the teachers, empathize with the students. We empathize with you as parents. You, you have to feel what other people are feeling. Everybody is all over the place. They're going through things, but it's okay. And just be encouraged. You're going to get through this. Just like all of the time before. You know, you think about it. Originally, the uh, uh, the educational system was just like the Amish. And the Amish, uh, and well, the educational system, they uh, ended up splitting off. But remember, remember Little House on the Prairie and all of them? That's how the school system list, uh, what was at first. And then they split off. So could you imagine what kind of shock that it was then? Now we're taking an educational system that was 100 years old. And now we're splitting into a whole nother one. 
think about the horse in the carriage. Then think about the elect then you think about the car that winded up. Then you think about the car that ended up having the motor. Now you're thinking about the electric car. Eventually we will have flying cars. So you think about everything evolves. And right now our school system is evolving. And remember, it has been a well thought out plan. And they're going to move this system by any means necessary. So we have to travel the road of least resistance. We don't have to give up everything, but we have to unschool and understand there's going to be a new way of learning and a new way of teaching. And the sooner that we figure it out, the less frustration we have. The P in MEPA is personalized. Eventually, one thing that I always learned to do with my students is I understood that every student learns differently. So you have to start personalizing the curriculum to meet your child's needs. So what I used to encourage my students to do when they even took a test or when they read something or what, whatever, find the part of it that sticks out to them first. Or even if it's on a test, find what you can do first. Get that over and done with. Then work your way through with those things that are not as interesting and those things that seem to be as hard. Because at least if you're encouraged enough to know that you at least tried and you did get down something that you understand, you don't focus on your weaknesses. You practice and focus on your strengths. That comes from Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences. And the A in MEPA is applaud and assure yourself. Like I said, at the end of the day, administrators, teachers, Parents, students, applaud yourself that you made it through the day and assure yourself that the next day will be better. And when it's all said and done, prayer would always be the key. And I'll leave you a part of a prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Everything is not going to be perfect. Life is not perfect, but I want to encourage you to enjoy this ride. God has blessed us to be able to get the education of our children back into our hands. And I must say, when it happened for me, being a homeschool parent, my son, I believe, did a really good job. I'm really excited to uh, be a part of this network for God to have given me a charge. Um, feel free that if you have any questions to inbox me, um, if you, uh, please like our, uh, um, our, even the YouTube page and, and sub click subscribe so you can get some updates when I bring them in because I'm going to try to do videos on a regular basis and, um, feel free to share. This is for everybody and just be encouraged. Know that this is all going to work out and know that I'm praying for all of you and I'm praying for your children, praying for the, stu the, the, the school year, praying for all of this. But please understand, this is not a political thing because if it was, it wouldn't be all over the world. This has another agenda. So what we want to do is we want to evolve and move with it. So nothing else happens that we can't get control over. God bless you. Signing off and have an awesome day.